Development Authority that we are a member of, which is our seven county joint development authority. As you're aware, at the end of April, we did our first ever sponsorship with, in partnership with the JDA and um, for the South Georgia Classic. It was a huge success. We had site consultants, projects, prospects in. Um, we were also able to host several um, statewide team members for a day and a half at the South Georgia Classic in Charlotte community. Um, so it was a very successful, well, and great investment of our dollars into a marketing event here in Valdosta Wilds County. Um, also participated in the Economic Summit. You can see what all we did. One of the things I do want to bring up for discussion is the great, get this, great promise partnership. I, can, I don't want to say great partnership. Promise, great promise partnership. I'm not sure if all of you are familiar with that, but that is an initiative that has come through the Department of Community Affairs. Commissioner Mike, Mike Beatty has um, dedicated the Department of Community Affairs its resources and staff to help get this initiative off and running. And several months ago, the Great Partner Partnership, Great GPP, Promise Partnership, the Great Promise came down and <laughs> made a presentation to our community about what it could do to help educate our workforce and to help raise graduations in our high school. So we were selected by Austin Lowndes County as a pilot community. And we had been asked as for the industrial authority to help support this project. And what I would like to do is, um, our recommendation is that we do support it because it does help strengthen our workforce in the future, as well as show that we're committed to that. And that's part of our product. That's what we have to sell when we sell to um, our prospects. Um, but what we'd like to do through our community, business, and industry partnership is to help build relationships with our existing industries between those individuals at the Great Promise Partnership. They're a huge component of this. And I would like to bring somebody into our next board meeting to present to y'all what exactly the Great Promise Partnership is so that you're educated and are, can speak um, to favorably towards the project. Um, and so what I'd like to do is just recommend further the staff would like to partner with our through our community business and industry partnership along with the Chamber of Commerce that we help in assisting to introduce them to our existing industries. Um, well, that's what we'd like to do. I don't really, I don't know that I need a motion on that. That's part no, of our I, existing I don't think industry you, program. You, no, I don't think you need a motion. I, 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 we are one of six anointed communities for this is that true it will not cost the authority any money uh, they're going to supply us with a staff person to help coordinate the program and and Andrew just further elaborating on what you were talking about um, with with regard to this particular program we're talking about employment plus mentoring mm -hmm. instituting the program commencing this year with kids in the sixth and seventh grade mentor them until they're eligible for employment. Right. And at that point, an employer will hopefully pick these kids up, provide them with part-time employment as they're completing their high school diploma. Yep, so the, the course, you have to have the existing industries that are willing to support these right. students and bring them in, whether it be they want, they have to want to commit to hiring five, 10, 15, whatever the operation and that you bring them in and they're really adopted by the industry as showing them you don't have to have a, we want you to have a four-year degree, but we also want you to know that there are other options in the technical world that can also help benefit you, but you need to graduate and you need to go get your technical degree. So that's the platform for it. And it's directed primarily toward kids who are at risk, those who right. are likely right. not to graduate. Right. So students that are at risk of graduate. Yes. So I think I think it's a great program. It's a great program, and it speaks highly about us, or speaks to that we need this with the, us being selected as one of the communities. But I want to bring Lori in for you to hear her to answer any of your questions that you might have, and hear more about it. And, and if she comes in at our June meeting, we're likely to present this matter to the board for a vote at that time. Okay. Okay. Any any questions? Okay. That's right. That concludes um, 
Well, with Alan mentioned our exporting trip to China that we're working diligently on. So we've identified about four um, companies that are looking at the industry. And what that basically does is you've heard this talk about, you know, we're no longer on a level playing field. We can be globally now. So the reason that we're engaging our existing industries to help grow their sales, which adds jobs, which adds capital investment in our community. Thank you, Ms. Swine. Mr. Governor.